Hey guys, it's your tech o girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So may pag-uusapan na naman tayong panibagong smartphone and ito yung upper mid-range device ng Realme, the Realme GT Neo 3. Again, pag sinabing upper mid-range device, ito yung tipo ng smartphone na nag-offer ng experience very similar to flagship phones. Minus, of course, yung wireless charging, curved displays, and of course, telephoto cameras. And yes, it is official, lalabas yung Realme GT Neo 3 here in the Philippines. I think the moment na pinapanood nyo itong video natin, it is already launched. Nakita nyo sa title, no? I said that this phone is actually very underrated. As of the moment, we all know that the Nothing Phone 1 is getting a lot of hype. We all know why, pero I think... Smartphones like this one, na nare review ko right now, deserves a hype as well. But for now, pag-usapan muna natin yung available variants na pwede niyang mabili sa market right now. The Realme GT Neo 3 comes in two color choices. Meron kayong Sprint to White and the Nitro Blue. And available siya in 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage variant. Kaya wag na tayong magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Let us now quickly unbox the Realme GT Neo 3. As usual, yung packaging ng smartphone guys is quite familiar. Alam naman natin pag higher end mid-range device or yung kanilang flagship phones, ganito talaga yung itsura. We have here yung usual, hey welcome to the Realme family na smaller box and nandito yung kanyang of course, paperworks. Ang haba ng ating quick start guide, no? And of course, we got here the phone and uulitin ko no, what I got is in Sprint White. Siyempre guys, alam nyo naman na I'm very into white colors. As you can see, meron tayong racing stripe design. Actually, this was inspired by the Ford GT40, which again serves as a symbol daw guys, according to Realme, of the next level speed that the smartphone can provide to every Filipino. Yup, mamaya malalaman natin if totoo ito. Underneath the smartphone, of course, we have here yung accessories niya, like of course, yung ating USB Type-C charging cable, and yung dulo is USB Type-A. We got here a jelly case na may konting tint. We also got here the 80 watt fast charging power brick. Yes, 80 watts po yung version ng Realme GT Neo 3 na meron tayo or yung lalabas ito sa atin sa Philippines. And of course, makakalimutan ko ba naman yung ating uh, SIM tool or yung ating panundot. And I also noticed na meron tayong Dare to Leap embossed doon sa pinakaloob ng box natin. Speaking of the charging speed, no, sa mga curious, meron kasing um, 150 watts speed. Uh, charging speed itong Realme GT Neo 3. So yes, just to clear things up, yung version that is being launched here in the Philippines is the 80 watts version. In terms of the design, it looks very familiar. Unang beses ko siyang nakita, it really reminds me of yung Realme GT2 and yung Realme GT2 Pro. Curved glass back yung meron tayo dito sa smartphone na to and has a soft and totally matte finish. It has a zero reflections and wala rin tayong mga issues when it comes to fingerprints. Which is again, the number one problem that I usually encounter sa mga smartphones. So good thing hindi natin yun may experience, no? Uh, do take note nga lang guys, yung sides natin is also all black. The same color of black na meron tayo dito sa pinaka back panel niya. And itong frame na pa guys is actually made of plastic and not aluminum. Overall, maganda yung design niya. Kind of reminds me of some things na very hype katulad ng color way ng mga sneakers ngayon, like for example, yung Panda. Anyway, katulad ng iba pang upper mid-range devices, itong smartphone na to ay walang headphone jack. Not just that, memory is also not expandable. But since yung available storage naman na pwede nating mabili is again 256GB, I think that's quite adequate. Unang-unang pinaka nagustuhan ko dito sa phone is yung kanyang speakers. It has a dual setup speakers and okay na okay yung kanyang max volume. smartphones, kung maaalala nyo, no, laging nasa upper left corner, located yung ating pinaka punch hole. But with this device, nasa pinaka gitna siya. Which is really good kasi some people, guys, is obsessed with 
um, smartphones na nasa gitna yung punch hole, making it very eye-pleasing dahil pantay na pantay siya. Also, the fact na hindi masyadong malaki yung ating punch hole, it's just the right size. I also like na very responsive yung in-display optical fingerprint sensor natin sa kanya. Although, kung medyo may issue kayo when it comes to placement, take note na lang na medyo mas mababa siya than usual. Isa pa, itong fingerprint sensor na to can be used as well as a heart rate monitor. Since nasa display na rin naman tayo, pag-usapan natin yung very flat display niya na talaga namang na-appreciate ko dahil ito talaga yung gusto ko sa mga upper mid-range device. Hindi nila kinukuha yung isa sa mga hindi ko masyadong gusto sa mga flagship phones which is their curved displays. It has a large, good quality 6.7 inch AMOLED display that packs a full HD plus resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. But aside from this, meron din siyang 10-bit colors and HDR10+. And yes, when it comes to color accuracy, okay at very natural silang tignan. Kaya naman na-appreciate ko at isa sa mga paborito kong aspeto nitong smartphone na to yung kanyang display. Also, I really like the fact na sobrang nipis lang ng bezels natin dito and almost balanced na nga sila. Making the overall watching experience more enjoyable. Okay, now let's talk about the camera of the Realme GT Neo 3. You know naman that one of my top priority talaga when it comes to smartphones is yung ganda ng cameras niya. I just wanna say first, when it comes to hardware, wala tayong nagbago. We got the 50 megapixels na merong Sony IMX766 sensor na of course merong OIS. We also have yung 2 megapixels macro lens and yung 8 megapixels ultra wide. Pero buti na lang no, yung ating main camera guys as mentioned kanina gets a larger and more recent sensor. Yung sensor na nabagnet ko kanina guys is mostly or typically used sa mga flagship devices now. Kung gusto nyo ng example, itong sensor na to guys is the same one na nakita natin sa Oppo Find X5 Pro. So ang tanong, should we accept a very similar performance? Something I noticed sa mga photos shot by the Realme GT Neo 3 is yung overall color niya guys is a bit on the heavier side. So yes, photos guys are bright, punchy, and of course, hindi sila masyadong dull looking. From the camera app guys, mapapansin nyo meron tayong included na optional AI camera mode. Again, this is off by default. This will help guys, for example, for general shooting, na ma-brighten and mas ma-punch up pa yung mga colors ng photos. And when it comes to night shot images, very decent yung quality na binibigay nila sa atin. Probably because of the very large 1.56 inch main sensor and of course yung OIS ng main camera natin. Before I forget, may 16 megapixels front camera rin tayo and okay naman yung mga selfies natin. Again, provided na may okay tayo na ilaw sa harapan natin because again, some photos we can get a bit soft images and wala masyadong depth. When it comes sa mga ultra wide shots naman guys, medyo underwhelming lang ng konti. Probably because I really like yung mga photos taken by its main camera. Now, when it comes to the camera menu, meron tayong option na 50 megapixels dito sa pinaka-main menu natin, which is, again, huwag natin kalimutan gamitin if you want a more detailed photos, of course. Sa so, more menu, nandito yung mga usual camera settings that we usually get from Realme smartphones like Pro Mode, Panorama, Ultra Macro, Film Mode, Slow Mo, Time Lapse, Dual view video, uh, text scanner, and tilt shift. By the way, hindi na wala yung street mode natin sa kanya. And of course, the night mode na kung saan pwede natin gamitin sa tatlong camera modes niya like the ultra wide, one times, and of course, the two times. Yung chipset mismo na meron tayo dito sa phone and of course, yung main sensor natin is perfectly capable na makapag-record tayo ng 2160 videos at 60 fps. Okay na okay yung mga 4K footage na kinuna namin kapag tayo ay naka 1080p resolution na kick in naman dito yung EIS natin. So either way, kung anong resolution yung gusto nyong um, piliin, okay silang parehas and naging smooth yung outcome ng mga footages natin. Out of the box, yung Realme GT Neo 3 runs on the latest Android 12 na merong of course Realme or the latest Realme UI. Actually guys, yung 
user interface ng smartphone is somehow the same doon sa last na nakita ko from the Realme 9 Pro Plus. So, somehow the same warnings and the same bloatware. Katulad na lang din ng Facebook, Lazada, Shopee, Twitter. But in all honesty, kung i-compare natin tong smartphone na to sa iba pang phones, na of course, ni-review natin recently, there's really little to complain about sa Realme UI 3.0. Malinis pa rin siya, and again, it runs very well sa 120Hz refresh rate na meron tayo. Now, performance-wise, yung chipset na meron itong device na to, yung pinaka-latest na meron tayo sa um, MediaTek, which is of course, the Dimensity 8100. When it comes to practical or yung real world scenario guys, we were able to run yung Genshin Impact sa high settings niya and 60 FPS with highly playable results. And again, ito yung klase ng results na pwede mong makuha sa mga flagship smartphones. From day to day, hindi rin nagpatalo yung Realme GT Neo 3. Everything really flies by in full sa 120Hz refresh rate natin. So yes, hinding hindi na lalayo performance-wise doon sa mga smartphones selling for twice the money. Now when it comes to battery and charging, ito yung kinagusto ko sa phone na to. Specifically yung, again, version na meron nga tayo dito. We have a 5000mAh and is capable of 80 watts fast charging. Which is actually already fast. I think yung 150 watts is a bit overkill, lalo na no, na bumaba yung battery capacity noon ng 4,500. So yes, yung combination na meron tayo dito is actually just right. In fairness naman, by what Realme promised guys, again, itong 80 watt super dark charge can power the phone from 0 to 50% in 15 minutes lang. By real world scenario guys, real world testing, we were able to achieve this. So yes, itong Realme GT Neo 3 guys is really perfect for those people that is on the go. But also doesn't want their smartphones na malobat agad in a day. Yes, itong Realme GT uh, 3 Neo, <laughs> sorry, nabubulol ako guys, can last for more than a day. Actually, two solid days kaya nung smartphone. So, at the end of the day, para sa akin guys, this device, itong Realme GT Neo 3 is an easy recommendation. Uno-uno, syempre, it has a very modern chipset. So, when it comes to you know, upgrading smartphones, hindi ko yung mapag in 2 to 3 years. It has a very good colors when it comes to display and a very reliable battery and charging experience. Also, a very good main camera para uh, specific. And of course, when it comes to pricing, hindi siya masyadong over the top. Speaking of the price, Realme GT Neo 3 is now available for 29,999 pesos. But this July 29 to 31, sa Lazada guys, it will be only 25,999 pesos. So yes, you can get up to 4,000 pesos off a discount. It may not be that aesthetically pleasing as compared to others, but again, one thing is for sure, when it comes to longevity and software, hindi kayo masyadong magkakaproblema. So yeah, that's basically it para sa ating Realme GT Neo 3. Again, it's your tag, a girl Mary, and I'll see you on our next video. Bye guys!